All right, guys, so we're going right into our part two of the 80 refresh. So I already did these side pieces in my last video and the bottom floor down here under the rug. So now it's the hatch, right? So just a refresh to refresh everybody's memory is I'm going section by section on the 80, trying to get rid of, uh, you know, any one, any rust. I grind it down. I use a rust reformer, and then I use um, a paint over that. Um, secondly, I'm going through and replacing like plastic clips, broken pieces, um, things like that. So basically cleaning, refreshing, making sure everything is functional and going the way it needs to for the AD because, you know, if you don't take these body panels off, who knows how much rust could be under there. And if you leave it for too long, it's going to get worse and worse. So first thing first on this rear hatch, um, it's pretty simple. It's two screws that come off. One, two. And then you pull off the little plastic trim. And then the rest of this plastic trim is just held on by clips that go into those. So really easy to take off. Um, you can see how dirty and dusty it is. And now what I'm doing is taking apart these plastic trim pieces. So this right there. And on mine, I'm already noticing some prior ghetto reading. So it looks like somebody put some kind of um, caulking glue adhesive type stuff to make it stay up there. Um, which obviously isn't right. And now what I'm having to use is, so to get this even off, I had to use my um, box cutter knife, right? An extractor knife. Um, you can use really any kind of knife. Um, then I'm using a plastic scraper to scrape off as much as I can. And then after that, because remember, I showed you guys that in another video, to get off gooey stuff like this, after you get the bulk of it off, you can use alcohol, that's all this is in a spray bottle, spray it, and then use this again, and it will get the rest of it off. Because um, alcohol eats away at sticky material. So, say if I can't even get the bulk of this off, you just spray this alcohol, let it sit, and keep working it. This is going to be one of those projects that it's gonna take you a while, uh, and it's gonna take me a long time, right? But I'm going piece by piece. So I just wanted to see all you guys where we're at on that. All right, so next I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this plastic trim piece off. This is where your third brake light is. Yes, if you didn't know it, but your Land Cruiser, uh, at least the FZJ80s, right? I'm not sure if the older models do, but I'm pretty sure they do as well, have a third brake light. And as you can tell, it looks like it might be kind of hard to get off, but I'm not even sure if you can see that. But there's one, two. What you do is those are push pins. So you can take like a, I'm going to take a Phillips um, head to do it. But just be really careful and they should just push in and they'll pop out. Let's see if I can do this as you're watching. Boom. You see? push in and they pop out. Let's see if I can do the same thing over here. Boom. Now this piece should pull off. Okay, let's first get those clips off. So there's the one of the clips. Let me put that right here. There's that second clip. And you can see what it does is when you press it in and that little tab goes forward it compresses that to widen, and that's what holds it. Boom, and just like that, it fell off. So as you can see, 
Those were the two clips, dirty in there. Interesting enough, it looks like I'm already missing a bolt. So it sh looks like it should be to me, one bolt, uh, oh, bad lighting, two bolts, three bolts, not positive on that, I'll have to do some more um, analysis on that one, <laughs> but that's what it looks like to me. I want to get this little trim piece off. I'm not sure what's holding that. Probably some bad body panel parts, um, like clips, like those ones were. Um, and I'm also going to try to take off this rubber. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you see that? See that? That is why we're doing this. That, my friends, is the beginning of rust. Can you guys see that? I think you guys can see that. That's the beginning of rust. So that should just peel right off, right? So let's show you real quick. Kind of just have to be aggressive with it, but light at the same time. I don't know if that really makes sense or not. Oh, actually, you know what? I need to unclip this. So I don't think I can do that with one hand. So let me come back. Bam. And I'm back. So all this is, is it's a clip. You just pull it, and it clips right out. Um, be careful, right? Because as you can see on mine, I don't know about yours, it's already kind of de-threading a little bit. So, now that that's off, I should be able to pull this off. Yeah, it should just come right off. Okay, I might need to get a couple of tools to stick in here and push it this way. But, this should, I think, just pop right off. All right, so I want to show you guys something. So I just got a couple of body bat panel clip, um, tools right that you can basically use to wedge into things so you can see I got it wedged in there now I can pull this out but what it is I didn't even mean to think about it is the glass is actually sealing that tight so I'm gonna have to remove the glass it just isn't stupid hard it's just literally removing this piece of rubber and the glass will pop right out. Just like in the video uh, um, I have on the sliding windows. It's the same concept. And you can see it's already wanting to on that corner right there because I have that wedged in. So I am just gonna pop this out. I'm not gonna be able to record that, I don't think. Um, But, you know, all I'm going to do is this right here. Just to loosen it, and then I'm just going to pull it. You can see how it's already wanting to pull right out. See how easy that is? And this gives me a good chance to look at the, any rust inside these edges. And also to reassess if I need to buy new rubbers or not. Rubber seals these. Um really wish I could videotape this, but I don't think so. As you can see, not in the most ideal position for that. Beautiful day out here in San Diego. Alright guys, so I figured out how to get this fucker off. And what it is, is it's, you know, the seal's holding it on both sides. So what you have to do is use on these tools you push the rubber seal over the lip and then you start to work it on the way out here and it will pop right off um, so watch we will see and I will get it removed all right guys so I'm going to show you how I'm doing this on the easiest way plastic piece pry it up like so use gloves in your thumb and you push up and as you can see, 
Angel comes right out. All right, guys, I got that corner halfway all the way down. This corner is being a pain in my butt, and I think it's because of that plastic piece that's still on. Um, but what I'm hoping is once I get this corner off and it to about right here, that because of gravity, I could just pull it and slide that way. So I won't have to do the whole thing all the way around to get that glass out. All right, another good tip is I use this thing. And again, this is a Harbor Fright. Uh, it's to remove body panel pieces with clips. So you put the clip in there, obviously, and pull, and it doesn't damage. So little things like these are great to have, because watch this. So I go here, I go to the lip, I push, and see how now that whole section is done? With, And if you're careful, you're not going to really do any damage. See? Let's see if I can get another one where you guys can see the whole thing. So under that metal lip, I pull, 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 pull. And you can see where it's going to pop in. Boom. Pops in. So little tools like these, great to have. I mean, you can see the wear on them. I've used the hell out of them. And it was like maybe five bucks for the set at Harbor Freight. I'll probably link uh, I'll link to those too because I uh, I found another set that's really good too on Amazon. And there you have it, guys. I pulled it out. So all I had to do is wrap that lip underneath the metal lip inside. From here, these two corners, and it was able to just pull right on out. Now. Let's take a look. So, oh, look at that. See? See how little that is? But I'm getting it now, so it's not going to get worse. See that? That's all nice little, little pieces of rust. Wow, look at this. We're missing metal. Look at that. Now you can also see that it looks like somehow, somewhere, this was damaged. See how it's like wavy? I'm pretty happy with that though. And now I can take this off, clean the hell out of it, and I think for the most part, oh yeah, look at that rust. I think for the most part, this is pretty salvage, salvage, uh, sal, I don't even know how to say that word, but basically I think I can keep it. Clean it up, but I wanted to show you guys that next hatch piece, which is the main piece. Uh, now, like I said, I still got to take off trim, trim. And we should be good. All right, I want to show you guys something. I just got the other body panel off. So here was the one I showed you earlier. For lack of better words, ghetto rig. And here's this one. So there's no actual body clips that hold these on, which is pretty interesting to me. Looks like it's just a double-sided tape. This looks stock to me. So look at the difference. So I only have a little scraping to do, versus a lot of scraping to do. Um, and the reason I took this one off still, because I almost didn't, I looked under it and I didn't really see anything too crazy, but just knowing how much rust, Ooh, wow, I don't know if you guys can even see that. Just knowing how much rust was on this side, under that panel, that I might not have been even able to see if I didn't get it up. But, I'm thinking this, all this rust is because it was damaged. And instead of somebody actually just spraying it and fixing it the right way, they just fucking glued, with some kind of weird adhesive, this panel back on. Versus simply doing that. So this is easy. I mean, all I got to do, and I think I have some, is use some double-sided tape for that. 
and we'll be good to go. It's nice, smooth and shiny. I won't even have to do anything to that except for get the old stuff off. Which, let's just see how it works in front of you guys. Sorry about that. Here, plastic scraper. And I need to replace this one. You can see how it's, yep, see that? It's not even sharp anymore. All right, guys. So I'm already going right into it, sanding down the rust. See where it's been pitted a little bit. Uh, this is probably one of the more uh, worst areas. As you can see, it's missing chunks. Still got to get in there a little better with a wire wheel. And it looks to me, I'm not 100% sure, but this looks like some kind of bondo maybe. So I don't know what's up with that. But it does go right in line with where there was that big opening behind this panel. Um, but all I'm going to do is smooth the angles out. And if I have to, I'll build it back up a little bit with my own Bondo or with just some uh, filler primer. So right now, that's the wheel I'm using. Right now, I just had to go get some more clips. So instead of using this and the alcohol to remove all that gunk, I decided, screw it, I'm just gonna hit it with the wheel. And as you can see, got lots of pitting in here as well. Um, so I still gotta remove all that. I look behind these, these look really good, so I'm not even gonna remove those two. Um, I still gotta clean up all the dust here. Um, I'll look under this as well, but this looks pretty good, this rubber piece right here. I'll look in here as well, but this looks pretty good. The only bad thing is, um, it's a little dry, so I'll probably use some 303 on it just to revitalize it. But, yeah, I mean, the worst section is this little corner, and it's not even as bad as I was thinking. Um, you know, I'll hit little spots like that, of course. Um, but yeah, there's the update for you guys. Right, so here is now how it's sitting. This is after the grinding. After two or three wipe downs with alcohol degreaser. Even wiping out in here. Wiping out the edges grinding down some of this edge. Wiping down this. Um, I haven't wiped in here yet, so I still gotta do a quick one in there. All right, but that can be done anytime because there's nothing ever covering that. So now what's left is I just realized there's some little spots of dust right here even. <laughs> yep, so I'm gonna have to get this too. Um I didn't even think about that, but I've never taken any of this off. Uh I didn't even think about getting this thing just because if you remember the video, I replaced it with the storage. Uh so I didn't really see any rust. But anywho. Grinded all of that down. So now, and also uh, vacuumed up all the excess stuff that came off. So now what has to happen is I'm going to spray it with a rust reformer. Um, and then I'm going to use some enamel. And then um, on some of it, I will use maybe some Herculiner just to... Uh, 
uh, get this edge back. Um, this, I'm just going to use the enamel because you're not going to be able to uh, see it when the rubber seals back. So for this, I don't care that it doesn't match the exterior so much. Um, but for the rest of it, once I get it back on, the rubber seal and everything, I will tape it. And then I'll just use some Herculiner to blend in this, that, and probably all of that. Um, and I don't know yet. Yeah, we'll see if I need to fill any of this. Um, it's kind of like this one had the same thing going on. I didn't fill it. So you can see there's a gap there. Versus here. It's just straight. So yep, just got to spray it, let it dry, got to clean up the panel pieces still, um, scrub those down, 303 coat them, and then I still got to deal with the window and the rubber uh, seal, but let's see it. 